this is ram prasad and you are watching circuit lab this channel contains the videos based on simulation as well as hardware assembling of different electronic circuits and the first circuit is about rectifier a rectifier that converts ac to dc so before starting the circuit let's start the simulation this is power source ac power and the voltage as well as frequency we can control according to our requirement now 230 volt 50 hertz i have taken to convert high voltage to low voltage transformer is required and here is transformer one primary one secondary if you change the turns ratio then accordingly we can change the voltage ratio primary turns 230 volt secondary turns 12 volt that means the transformer input is 230 output is 12 volt to convert ac to dc diode is required here the diode is 1 and 4007 and four diodes are required to make a bridge rectifier and the connection is like this it is a end to end connection and this two terminals or two junctions is for DC output this is positive DC output this is negative DC output and this is for AC input and the AC input means the output of transformer is connected to rectifier input to convert a pulsating DC to pure DC capacitor is required here different types of capacitor you can see and I have taken here electrolytic capacitor different range of capacitors are available I have taken here 3600 microfarad the voltage rating of capacitor you can change here by changing the initial voltage condition I have taken the voltage as 50 volt for this capacitor the capacitor is connected across the DC output to provide a constant voltage from a variable voltage a voltage regulator is required and I have taken here 7812 voltage regulator that means its output voltage is always 12 volt it has three terminals line voltage it is for input terminal common is for ground terminal and VREG means regulated voltage that is for output terminal and we will get the voltage across ground and output terminal as a constant voltage input is connected to capacitor and ground is connected to the negative of DC supply to open and close the output load we can use switch here so here I have used SPST switch that is single pole single through switch which should be connected in series with the supply to external load and the external load we can take LED with series register so here is series register which, which is connected in series with the LED so switch is connected in series from supply to register to LED to ground this circuit is for only 12 volt DC supply if we want to make multiple voltage range isolated DC supply then simply we can take similar circuit of three different voltage range the first circuit is for 12 volt and the second circuit is for 9 volt so we, have, we can set here the transform ratio secondary turns ratio as 10 volt and rectifier connection is same and capacitance I have, I have taken here 2200 microfarad and voltage regulator 7809 instead of 7812 switch connection same 
resistance we can take 550 ohm and all the circuit connection is remaining same for 5 volt secondary turns ratio 6 volt it is a 230 to 6 input supply 230 output supply 6 volt and capacitor you can take 1000 microfarad and the resistance 330 ohm so this circuit have done because of isolation if you want to make a DC rectifier with multiple voltage range and each and every circuit is isolated from each other then you can prepare this circuit all the primary windings of the transformers are connected in parallel to the same supply source the transformers are connected in parallel the parallel connection to the same supply source before simulation the circuit must be grounded to avoid simulation error if you simulate this we can see by controlling the switch the LED is being on and off separately we can control the isolated circuits we can measure the voltage across the output by using voltmeter and the voltmeter is connected in parallel you can see the voltage across the output of the voltage regulator when output load is off means it is open circuit voltage 5 uh, 12.566 the value is approximately 12 volt and when switching this the LED voltage drop is little bit you can see the voltage drop across LED similarly voltage in 9 volt supply source and 5 volt supply source by unload condition voltage drop is there so we can also trace the waveform of input and output by using oscilloscope from instrument list you can find the oscilloscope it has two channels the channel A is connected to output of the transformer that is AC and the channel B is connected across the load by simulating this you can see the waveforms of input and output that means input into the circuit is AC that is channel A indicates the waveform of AC and the channel B that indicates the waveform of DC this is the channel A waveform the RMS value we are getting average value is approximately 12 volt AC and the upper waveform indicates the output of DC means the output of the rectifier that is 12 volt because the oscilloscope is connected across the 12 volt load to get the waveform distinctly we can see the grapher so here is grapher from grapher we can trace the waveform accurately if you zoom the grapher this is for AC input into the rectifier and this is DC output from the rectifier 12 volt it is approximately RMS value is also 12 volt by using cursor we can get the 
instantaneous magnitudes of voltage of channel A and channel B. You can see here by changing the positions with respect to time then this is the voltage across channel B and this is the instantaneous voltage across channel A. So this is all about the simulation of a isolated DC rectifier circuit with multiple voltage range. Let's go for hardware assembling. These are the terminal connectors for AC supply. The output of the transformers are to be connected here. Six pins are there and three transformers we can connect here. And from the out output of this pin, the AC supply is given to the rectifier. The rectifier consists of four terminals, these two for AC and these two for DC. And the output of the rectifier is connected to the capacitor for filtration. The capacitor output is connected to a voltage regulator. Here is the voltage regulator, 12 volt. This is input voltage pin, this is ground, this is output voltage. The output of the capacitor is connected to input pin and the negative pin of capacitor is connected to ground and output pin is connected in series with LED with ground and same parallel connections means ground and positive are connected to external pin connector to connect the external load of 12 volt. Similar connections are given in other two circuits for isolation purpose. You can see the back side. This is AC input which is connected to the terminal spin that means output of the transformer and output of the DC it is connected to capacitor negative point and this is capacitor positive pin. Capacitor positive pin is connected to voltage regulator in that is first pin of voltage regulator and from capacitor negative point it is connected to the ground of the voltage regulator and from output of the voltage regulator is connected to external terminal for positive supply voltage and ground of the voltage regulator is connected to negative terminal of the external connector and here from positive of the voltage regulator through a series register LED is connected in series with the ground means it is just detecting the output voltage signal so similarly second circuit connection and third circuit connections are given to the external connector for 12 volt 9 volt and 5 volt we can connect a load of 12 volt 5 volt and 9 volt separately so let's go for load connection this is the complete hardware setup of DC rectifier circuit and this is AC power 230 volt AC voltage is connected to the primary sides of the parallel connected transformers and the secondaries of the transformers are connected to the terminal connectors separately this is for second transformer, this is for first transformer output and this is for third transformer output. And already I have explained the functions of different components in the circuit. Then the output terminals are connected to the, this is for 5 volt supply, it is connected to LED through a series register and this is for 9 volt, it is connected to a 9 volt motor and this is for 12 volt it is connected to a 12 volt fan now from 12 volt and 5 volt separate connections are given to DSO to measure the waveforms of DC when we will give power supply to the circuit now the transformer decreases the voltage and the rectifier rectifies and the voltage regulator controls the voltage and here this is 9 volt motor 
and 12 volt fan and a 5 volt LED and the waveform you can see so channel 1 is 5 volt channel 2 is 5 volt so 5 volt channel 1 is negative and it is 12 volt indicating by channel sorry 5 volt indicating channel 2 and 12 volt indicating channel 1 so this is all about the PC rectifier circuit which fully isolated and multiple voltage range if you want more video you can like share and subscribe to our channel thank you very much